Hi everyone, now we are going to discuss about nutrient cycles or biogeochemical cycles. The bio means life and the geo means earth and the chemicals means elements or the minerals. So in all together, the biogeochemical cycles are also going to be called as cycling of substances. That means cycling of nutrients or cycling of elements. So here we can uh, describe in brief the substance turnover is going to be a pathway by which the chemical or the element or the molecules like nitrogen, potassium, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen moves through both biotic that is biosphere and abiotic which possess the lithosphere, atmosphere and the hydrosphere compartments of the earth is going to be called as called as biogeochemical cycles or nutrient cycles. So here we are going to define uh, overall the biogeochemical cycles or nutrient cycles is going to be it is a pathway by which the chemical elements or the molecules moves through both the biotic and abiotic compartments of the earth and this is going to be occurring in a series that means a cycle of series changes which comes back to the starting point and which can be repeated is going to be called as biogeochemical cycle or we can also define this as the circular pathways through which the chemical elements of the protoplasm circulate in the biosphere from environment to the organism and back to the environment are known as nutrient cycles or biogeochemical cycles. So here the nutrients and the energy are going to be the basic functional units of any ecological systems and move through the both the biotic and abiotic compartments or components and maintain the balance and the stability of the system. And if you see here, the energy flow is always unidirectional and driven by an endless solar energy or solar power supply. Whereas coming to the nutrient cycles, this nutrient cycle is going to be conservative where chemical elements are being drawn from the nutrient pools and retained within the ecosystem. And the mineral elements taken from the soil and the atmosphere by the green plants or the producers are again retained to the environment by an intensive activity of uh, micro organisms that is by the process of uh, both decomposition as well as a uh, degradation. So there are going to be of uh, six common elements in organic molecules like carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur take a variety of chemical forms which is going to be involved in our nutrient cycles and these all forms are going to be stored for longer or shorter periods in the atmosphere or on land or in water or beneath the earth's surface as well as in the bodies of the living organism. So in the geological process such as uh, weathering of rocks or erosion, water drainage and the subduction of continental plates. So all play a role in re recycling of these materials that is carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen and as do interactions among the organisms. So it may be a negative interaction or it may be a symbiotic interaction whatever it may be. So these all nutrients are going to be of having the recycling of these materials in the environment. So the complex biological community comprises or comprising microscopic forms like uh, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, insects, nematodes play an important role in the maintenance of the nutrient cycles in the biosphere. And the microbial population in soils can be of very high Okay, and in surface soil, the uh, for example, the bacteria population may be of 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 9 cells per gram dry weight of a soil. So that means if you check a gram weight of a soil, dry weight of a soil, we can find about 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of uh, 9 cells per gram. That means almost 50% of the biomass of soil is going to be of a uh, fungi also. So these many bacteria and the fungi are going to comprise uh, the soil dry weight. So microbes by their oxidation and reduction reactions 
change the chemical and physical characteristics of the nutrients and cause for recycling of the nutrients. That means the form of nitrogen gas is going to be converted into the form of uh, ammonium then it is going to be converted into the nitrides nitrates and back to the denitrification process into the nitrogen gas so in the same manner the elemental sulfur is going to be converted into the h2s gas or the sulfate forms so we should, so this is how the nutrients are going to be changing their chemical as well as the physical characters and causing the recycling of the nutrients Nutrients. and these all process is going to be occurring by the oxidation reaction of these reactions of the microorganisms so coming to the classification of uh, biology uh, that is biogeochemical cycles or nutrient cycles we are going to have the two types of classifications or the types of nutrient cycles one is going to be based on the involvement of the microorganisms uh, in the nutrient cycles where we are going to have the two compartments one is going to be the reservoir pool where it is going to be of a large slow moving non biological component and the second one is the exchange or cycling pool or smaller and active portion that can be exchanged rapidly between the environment and the organisms so in these two pools the reservoir pool is going to be the larger and is a unavailable form but the cycling pool always, so this pool is always active and is exchangeable and available. The diversity of the microbes, the structural complexity of the microbes and different metabolic activities of the microbes govern the process of nutrient exchange between the environment and the organism so that's how this is going to be more active portion then the second type of classification is going to be based on the nature of reservoir pool the nutrient cycles are going to be classified into two types the first type is going to be the gaseous type and the second type is going to be the sedimentary type so gaseous type in which the reservoir is the atmosphere and hydrosphere examples of the gaseous type of nutrient cycles are carbon and the nitrogen and the second type is sedimentary type in which the reservoir is the earth's crust and the examples of this kind of nutrient cycles are phosphorus cycle and the sulfur cycle so if you see here it's a carbon cycle nitrogen cycle and the phosphorus cycle and we had the sulfur cycle also so all these nutrient cycles or the biological or biogeochemical cycles are going to be discussed in detail in the consecutive videos. Thank you.